Live from the star-filled International Ballroom of the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Welcome to the 73rd Annual Golden Globe Awards. And now, your host for the evening, ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Gervais. Thank you. Shush. Shut up. You disgusting, pill-popping, sexual deviant scum. I want to do this monologue and then go into hiding. OK? Not even Sean Penn will find me. <laughs> Snitch. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome to the 73rd Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel. With all these rich, beautiful celebrities having the time of their lives. Let's hope no one spoils that. Yeah. <laughs> Relax, I'm going to try and be nice. You're global megastars with amazing talent, most of you. A few of you just married well. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> we, we all do. We all do. We're live on NBC, and it's right that NBC hosts this award show because they're the only network who are truly fair and impartial. And that's because they're the only network with zero nominations. <laughs> so... Nothing in it for them tonight. They don't care who... They don't care, obviously. <laughs> but as I say, I'm going to be nice tonight. I've changed. Not as much as Bruce Jenner, obviously. <laughs> now Caitlyn Jenner, of course. What a year she's had. She became a role model for trans people everywhere, showing great bravery in breaking down barriers and destroying stereotypes. She didn't do a lot for women drivers. But <laughs> you can't have everything, can you? Not at the same time. Anyway, so <laughs> I am going to be nice tonight, and I'll tell you why. The president of the Hollywood Foreign Press just told me that if I say anything offensive or crass or resort to innuendo, he is going to come out here and personally pull me off. So that's an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> yes. Yes, that is the level. An old man pulling me off. <laughs> Again. Um, at least Jeffrey Tambor did it in a dress. Um, what a year he's had. Oh, what an actor, what a role. It, uh, no, it's... <laughs> Every day he has to put on all the women's clothes and the hair and makeup and let people film it. That takes balls. So, I don't know how he does it. I really don't. I've seen these balls. They're huge and long. <laughs> I don't know if he tucks them in the bra or does that thing when you push them out the back and let them hang out <laughs> like a bulldog. No one knows. <laughs> I love Jeffrey Tambor. I don't know if that's because he's such a great actor or because he reminds me of my nan. <laughs> one Hollywood publication said that me hosting would mean that some film stars would stay away for fear of being made fun of. As if film stars are stay away from the chance of winning a Golden Globe. <laughs> Particularly if their film company has already paid for it. <laughs> so what's happened this last year in this crazy business we called show? The excellent Spotlight has been nominated. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the Catholic Church are furious about the film as it exposes the fact that 5% of all their priests have repeatedly molested children and been allowed to continue to work without punishment. Roman Polanski called it the best date movie ever. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence made the news when she demanded equal pay for women in Hollywood, and she received, yeah, overwhelming support from people everywhere. There were marches on the street with nurses and factory workers saying, 
How the hell can a 25-year-old live on 52 million? <laughs> this is... There were plumbers around the world going, Poor girl in town, that's lucky now. So, but joking aside, <laughs> of course women should be the, paid the same as men for doing the same job. And I'd like to say now that I'm getting paid exactly the same as Tina and Amy did last year <laughs> for hosting this. No, I know there was two of them, but it's not my fault if they want to share the money, is it? That's, <laughs> that's their stupid fault. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. The Hollywood Foreign Press deemed The Martian a comedy and even nominated it. And hence, Matt Damon is here tonight. So that worked a treat, didn't it? <laughs> to be fair, The Martian was a lot funnier than Pixels. Uh, <laughs> but then again, so was Schindler's List. <laughs> it's just a film. All female remakes are the big thing. There's a female remake of Ghostbusters. There's going to be a female remake of Ocean's Eleven. And this is brilliant for the studios because they get guaranteed box office results and they don't have to spend too much money on the cast. So. <laughs> Shut up, I don't care. <laughs> Listen. If you do win tonight, remember that no one cares about that award as much as you do, OK? <laughs> Don't get emotional, it's embarrassing, OK? <laughs> that award is, no offence, worthless. <laughs> it's a bit of metal that some nice old confused journalists <laughs> wanted to give you in person so they could meet you and have a selfie with you, <laughs> OK? That's all it is. I've got three. I've got three Golden Globes myself, so I can say... One's a doorstop. One I used to hit burglars with, and one I keep by the bed to... Doesn't matter why, it's mine. It's mine. <laughs> it's mine. I want it fair and square. It's just the right shape and size. It's nothing... <laughs> yeah, so to be clear, that was a joke about me shoving Golden Globes. That I've won up my ass. <laughs> and they asked me to host four times! You <laughs> Jesus! Let's do the show, shall we? <laughs> On a serious note, the Golden Globes are about excellence. To win one, you have to do something amazing. Neither of our first two presenters have won a Golden Globe. <laughs> I, I don't know what they're doing here, really, but I don't choose the guests. Please welcome the fantastic Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. Welcome back. The Golden Globes doesn't have an in-memoriam section to get you all depressed. Instead, we let the president of the Hollywood Foreign Press say a few words. <laughs> Please welcome Lorenzo Soria. Ricky. Thank you for your support. <laughs> I'll try not to disappoint you. Um, Our next presenter uh, is the star of the hilarious comedy The Martian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he nearly died. Right. He's also the only person who Ben Affleck hasn't been unfaithful to. Please welcome Matt Damon. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was. Eva Longoria and America Ferreira aren't just beautiful, talented actresses. They are also two people who your future president, Donald Trump, can't wait to deport. <laughs> Please welcome Eva Longoria and America Ferreira.
Welcome back. Joy and Trainwreck. No, not the names of Charlie Sheen's two favourite hookers. <laughs> the films of our next two presenters. They're best friends, by the way. They wanted me to <laughs> tell you that. But, uh, and if you forget, they said they'd, they'd tweet you. And remind. Basically, they come round and shout it through. They're best friends. It's like they've never had a friend before. <laughs> Please welcome Amy Schumer and Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> oh. This show is way too long, isn't it? It's way too... This could be half an hour. This one was in the writer's strike when they just read the winners and just... <laughs> OK. Let's get through it. Right. <laughs> Unbelievable. Some people still think this award means something. The winners, just listen to me. Listen. It doesn't just... Right. When Brad and Angelina see our next two adorable little presenters, they're going to want to adopt them. Please welcome Kevin Hart and Ken Jeong. <laughs> That's good. That's good. OK. Right, listen, this is... Shush. <laughs> Just shut up, really, seriously. Right. A few years ago, on this show, I made a joke about Mel Gibson getting a bit drunk and saying a few unsavoury things. We've all done it. I wasn't judging him, but now I find myself in the awkward position of having to introduce him again. <laughs> listen. I'm sure it's embarrassing for both of us, OK? And I blame NBC for this terrible situation. <laughs> Mal blames... We know who Mal blames. <laughs> Listen, I still feel a bit bad for it, right? Mal's forgotten all about it, apparently. That's what drinking does. No. <laughs> I want to say something nice about Mal before he comes out. Um, so... Oh, yeah, OK, here you go. I'd rather have a drink with him in his hotel room tonight than with Bill Cosby. <laughs> Please welcome Mal Gibson. Yeah. I love seeing Ricky once every three years because it reminds me to get a colonoscopy. Uh. Yeah. Well, if you'd left your drink here, you don't need to leave your drink here. I'll put you to sleep another way, son of a bitch. <laughs> Listen. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. I think we all want the answer to this. Mm -hmm. I don't know, ask the guy that said it, it wasn't me. <laughs> uh, thanks, Ricky, for your input. Okay, our next nominee is for Best Motion Picture Drama. It's a... Kill me. Right. <laughs> Jeez, you know what I mean? Uh, no joke, this is what... Ridiculous. Right. Our next presenter is the most respected actor in the room. That isn't saying much. <laughs> Please welcome Morgan Freeman. <laughs> you filth, all of it. Are we back? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Welcome back to the Golden Globes. Our next presenter is an actress who is both beautiful and talented. 
Born in England, she came to America and has taken Hollywood by storm. The star of the nominated movie, The Danish Girl, please... It's a dude. Eddie Redmayne. Good evening.